forward announcement is brought to you by the Extreme World Order. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to That Extreme Wrestling Channel. My name is Samson. I am the Extreme Gaming Guru, back again, bringing you guys another episode of AFK, or Away From Controller, that series where we put the controllers down and we talk wrestling shop. Lots of things I want to talk about in this episode, but before we get to that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, join the extreme, and to all the members of the extreme already watching this video, be sure to hit that like button with a two sweet, show your support for the channel. Now, uh, moving on, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is, of course, that time of year when all that great, wonderful WWE 2K23 news comes out. The hype machine begins to roll. All the hype boys are, well, they're out there hyping up the uh, the trailer and, and the couple screenshots that were released. Oh man, I gotta say, uh, this is probably my least favorite time of year when it comes to being a WWE uh, 2K content creator on YouTube. Um, just to see everybody whoring themselves out to hype up this game is absolutely ridiculous. Like, um, everybody, like, even just for the last couple of months, just seeing on Twitter, uh, all the hype boys begging for information, begging for a screenshot, begging for anything. Oh, please, just give me a little bit of info. I need that YouTube money. Oh, it's, it's, it's sad, guys. It is really sad to see. Uh, like I said, my least favorite time to be a WWE 2K uh, YouTuber because just everybody gives up on the last game. Uh, you could pretty much consider WWE 2K22 dead at this point in time. Uh, no matter what kind of videos you make, it's probably not going to get a lot of views. But, uh, you know, it's just the way it goes. The hype boys got to make their money. But uh, everybody's always, like, uh, so impatient when it comes to information about the next new game and uh, I just don't get it. Like, the game never really changes that much to really warrant being so, like, I, I, I don't even want to say it, <laughs> but just acting like that. You're acting like a bunch of children out there and uh, it's really sad to see. But uh, yeah, it's like, it's just the way it goes, I guess. But uh, everybody wonders why, like, you have to wait so long for information it's it's because 2K really doesn't have to put like any marketing budget into like the 2K series cuz for the last 2 months or whatever before the game comes out it gets hyped so much by all the fanboys on YouTube so it's you know it is what it is but uh just to speak on the uh trailer and just a little bit of information that I did get cuz uh you're not going to you get like you you're not going to get me hyping up uh, WWE 2K23. Am I going to enjoy it when it comes out? Yes, no doubt, but I like to be surprised by all this stuff. I usually try to avoid like all that, you know, early information and stuff like that. I like to boot up the game and discover things on my own. Uh, that's just the way I am. But uh, just from what I've seen so far, uh, the graphics look, you know, fantastic. They looked fantastic in WWE 2K22. Uh, there's really only so much you can improve when it comes to graphics. Uh, but they look great. Um, the showcase mode featuring John Cena. John Cena, of course, the cover star, again, of uh, WWE 2K23. I believe he was the cover star of 2K15 as well, if I remember correctly. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too excited about John Cena showcase mode. But uh, he has had many memorable opponents over the years. So I guess if anybody deserves uh, full-fledged showcase mode it would be John Cena and I'm sure it'll be pulled off well they've always got great camera angles and just the reenactments of the matches are usually pretty good uh, I wish there was like more control over some of the things like I feel like I'm watching a lot of just you know canned animations a lot of the times when I'm playing the showcase mode and I'd really love to have to like reenact these moments a little bit more accurately uh, in-game as opposed to watching it done in a cutscene, but you know, that's just me. Uh, 2K23 showcase mode. John Cena, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Uh, other information I've heard so far 
Uh, it tends to be well, war games. We're getting war games, but uh, from what I've heard or from what I've read, uh, it's only available to people on the next gen or current gen, I guess it is. So all people on the PS4s and Xbox Ones, unfortunately, you're just not going to get the war games. But from the sounds of it, um, it doesn't sound like it's going to be anything like too exciting. It's literally just going to be two rings, a cage, and then three verse three or four verse four. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think War Games is supposed to be five v five. Yeah, I think so. But you know, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section below the right answer for that. But. Uh, I think it's going to be cool just to see like two rings and have like a big cage, but I don't know how accurate it's actually going to be when it comes to war games. Um, you know, I, I, I doubt you'll be able to get weapons into the cage, and uh, that's like a big thing when it comes to war games. You always see tables and stuff like that come in, so I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, you can get weapons into the war games. But the fact that it's not coming out on last gen is kind of disappointing. Um, not that I'm playing on last gen, I'm playing from like the next step up, I'm playing on a Series S currently, so, you know, it is what it is. But uh, other than that, I heard, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yes, the My Faction, apparently My Faction is going to be uh, multiplayer or local co-op, and uh, that's something. I don't think it's gonna get anybody into that game mode at all. I don't think I know anybody that actually played my faction in WWE 2K22. Uh, I know I probably played maybe one match and uh, you know just to get a feel of it and wasn't a big fan. I didn't like the fact that you could unlock like all these models but they didn't transfer into the main game. We had to uh, have people like what's the status like hack the game and basically give us these things on uh, create a wrestler and stuff like that custom creations so you know that was kind of sad but uh, the one thing I'm, I'm really excited about WWE 2k23 is uh, just the updated roster uh, pretty much with the roster I'm hoping to see you know the return of Bray Wyatt and stuff like that people that got cut at the last minute and we didn't get them in WWE 2k22 um, I'm very interested in seeing who we get for DLC this year because the way it usually goes is anybody we got for DLC in the last game is usually in the the next game like just default so everybody we got DLC in 2k22 for the most part is probably going to show up on the default roster of WWE 2k23 so I'm really interested in seeing who like we get as DLC next year I'd really love to just see them spread their wings a little bit and get some superstars that we haven't seen uh, I've been hoping for you know like ECW superstars and stuff like that for a long time but uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything cool like that but uh, I'm really interested in seeing uh, if they've made any changes to the actual wrestling uh, you know physics the wrestling engine uh, if they've done anything to the weapon physics uh, those are things that's really important to me I don't really care about the showcase mode and the, the my career modes and stuff like that. I'm pretty much an exhibition kind of guy. I like to set up my matches, uh, set up my custom sliders, and you know just have a good time. So I, I just want to know what they've done to improve the wrestling engine. Um, did they bring back chain wrestling? Have they improved the match uh, flow? Like can we do rest holds and working holds and all those kind of things? Um, I would love to see just lots of chain wrestling, lots of chain reversals. I want to see the weapon physics overhauled so much. Like, I hope we can powerbomb people on the steel steps. Like, and if we can't, man, I hope we find a way to glitch it again in WWE 2K23. Because that is something I really miss, is just, you know, realistic weapon physics. When you're powerbombing somebody onto the steel steps or onto a chair or, uh, you know, anything like that. I want to hear the impact. I want to see like unique animations. I want to hear the commentary team comment about getting DDT'd on a steel chair and stuff like that. Like these are the kind of improvements I want to see. Um, so I'm really hoping, really hoping. I got my fingers crossed, but you know, I don't usually get what I want. So I'm pretty much expecting the same game we had last year, uh, just a little bit more fine-tuned. Um, 
yeah, what can I say? We're not going to get anything spectacular, guys. It is what it is. I'm not uh, a great hype man. That's why I'll never be uh, 2K Next Maker. Chances are they're just not going to pick me because like, I just don't get hyped up. I don't buy into this uh, little hype machine. I don't really respect anybody that just rehashes these trailers. Like we all, we're all subscribed to YouTube. We follow 2K on Twitter and on YouTube. We're seeing the trailers as fans of the game. We really don't need 800 different YouTubers breaking down a trailer for us. Like it's, it is so ridiculous, guys. So freaking ridiculous. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about uh, you know the 8,000 copied videos all over the internet you know it's, it's not my thing but maybe it's yours but uh yeah anyways guys moving on from 2k news uh what i really want to talk about is kind of like a channel update uh some of you guys may have seen my first ever uh, extreme match review up on the channel uh, I tried a couple times. I tried to review Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay for the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship at uh, Wrestle Kingdom 17. Uh, the first time I uploaded the video, I included clips from the match itself along with wrestling stills. And then I had my commentary behind it. But uh, apparently New Japan Pro Wrestling didn't like apparently what I had to say about the match or they didn't like the clips. So I took that video down after getting a copyright strike. I accepted it. It was an honor. Uh, it's, it's a badge of honor, to be perfectly honest. I've been doing YouTube for a long, long time, and uh, I've never gotten a copyright strike because I pretty much just make WWE 2K videos. But I've been wanting to step out of my comfort zone for a really long time. So uh, after years and years and years of anxiety and running over the thoughts of my head, I've just decided I'm going to let the anxiety go. I'm gonna give it a whirl, girl, as they would say, and uh, yeah, just 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 try. And uh, I ended up putting out the video, got a copyright strike. I accepted that copyright strike, badge of honor, and I re-edited the video. Uh, I got rid of all the clips and I replaced it with still camera shots because, as I understand it, uh, still camera shots or screenshots are all fair use. So I re-edited the video. Uh, fixed up my commentary a little bit, re-uploaded it, and I think I got maybe, I don't know, 60 views or something on that before I got another copyright strike from New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, man oh man, like New Japan Pro Wrestling, what did I ever do to you, man? What did I ever do? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so I appealed uh, the second copyright strike. It's in its process right now. We'll see how that turns up. But uh, regardless, I'm not going to stop with the extreme reviews. I really enjoyed, uh, you know, just covering that match. I don't really want to do full show reviews or like full pay per view reviews at the moment. I just want to stick to, you know, checking out some matches and just kind of giving you my thoughts and kind of kind of uh, running over, you know, what happened in the match. I like kind of doing that play by play kind of commentary. And uh, so I'm looking forward to trying out more of those. If there's any matches that you'd like me to, you know, take a look at and give you my thoughts, let me know in the comments section below. Because that's a series, like I said, I've been wanting to do for many, many years. And I've been letting anxiety just keep me locked in my own little comfort zone and keeping me away from that. And I just, I wanted to break out. So I gave it a shot and I got two copyright strikes because of it. But I'm not going to let that defeat me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try anybody but New Japan Pro Wrestling, I think. But uh, probably try like a WWE match or maybe an AEW match. Let me know your favorite matches in the comment section below, like I said. But uh, other than that, moving on on the channel, you're not going to see any real WWE 2K23 hype. Like you might get a couple more episodes of AFK, something like this, where I just kind of give you my thoughts on, you know, the, the latest trailer, the latest screenshot or something like that. But you're never going to see me, you know, just breaking down these trailers frame by frame. I've already seen all those videos plastered all over my subscription feed. Like, the one thing this time of year is really good for is helping me clean up my subscription feed. Because I just start unsubscribing every single person that is, like, hyping up this game and just whoring themselves out. <laughs> I just, I don't appreciate it. I, I don't really... 
I like that type of video. I like to discover this information on my own, so I don't want everything spoiled for me. But uh, that's just me. Just me. You guys, you know, if you like, if you enjoy that type of content, there's plenty of channels out there that are doing it, but you're not going to get it here. And, uh, you know, chances are that's probably why this channel isn't as successful as many of those channels are. But, you know, I'm not worried about that stuff. Anyways, guys, it's been a long top talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button with the two sweet. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye and good night. Bang. Too sweet, guys. Too sweet.